Hey, I'm Jules Watson from Renegade Kit. I'm here at uh, PAX East 2014 talking to Mr. T. Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. All aboard! Here we go, let's start the show. Hosted by Mr. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and review some gameplay too. Battling drones is what I do. M-I-Z. C-A-H is the show of Ms. A T. It's the show of Ms. A T. Well, hey there, fools. It's Ms. A T, and I'm back with more exclusive coverage of PAX East 2014. Well, we've come to the final video, and it's my exclusive interview with Jules Washam, co-founder and director at Renegade Kid. If you don't know already, Renegade Kid is the independent studio and creator of many wonderful games, including Mutant Muds on 3DS and Wii U, the upcoming Treasure Knots, as well as Coke County. They're an excellent studio, and they make excellent games, and Mr. T is a huge fan, as you would be too if you play any of their games. Jules Washam was kind enough to sit down with Mr. T and grant me an exclusive interview, and I hope you fools enjoy. So without further ado, enjoy fools, let's get it started. Watching from Renegade Kid, uh, co founder and director uh, of Renegade Kid. Well, first of all, Mr. T, I'd like to thank you for sitting down with me here today at the illustrious PAX East 2014 and giving me an exclusive interview. It is very hard to be taken seriously as a journalist when you're only like a foot tall and made out of plastic. So I thank you for this. If you would please, Mr. Welshan, tell us what games you're showing here at the expo. We have a few things. We've got um, Moon Chronicles uh, that will be coming out next month on 3DS. Uh, Treasure Notes will be coming out this summer and uh, Colt County, which is our Kickstarter project. Excellent, excellent. And what information can you give us on Moon Chronicles, your upcoming game for the Nintendo 3DS? Moon Chronicles is a port, or an enhanced port of our DS game. It came out five years ago. Um, so we're upgrading all of the visuals. Um, it is going to be episodic. Uh, so we've split the original game into four separate episodes. Um, and the first episode will be coming out next month, so May 2014, if we're lucky, if it gets approved by Nintendo. Um, and. It's still running at 60 frames a second with 3D on, which is awesome. And then when you turn the 3D slider down uh, to 2D mode, uh, then anti-aliasing kicks in. So visually, it looks it looks amazing. It really does. It really turned out really, really nice. Actually, it also enhanced the uh, enemy AI. So they're a little bit more challenging and they have a little bit more kind of behavior uh, to the way they move. Thanks, Boos. What can you tell us about the new game, Coke County, that you have in development? Uh, yeah, the Coke County is a survival horror game. It's very much kind of our spiritual successor to Dementium. You know, we wanted to do Dementium 3, uh, we're unable to do so due to past contractual issues. Um, so uh, we're like, you know what, we're not gonna let that hold us back. We're gonna jump in there and make a new survival horror. Um, it uh, right now is on Kickstarter uh, for the month of April. And it is, we're using Unity. So it'll be on Xbox One, Wii U, uh, PS4, PS3, Vita, and Steam. Um, it is going to be, what I'm excited about is it's like going to be more of a slow burn kind of survival horror game where, uh, you know, it's going to start off real slow, you kind of, you get to the town, you meet the characters, you know something strange is happening, but you're not quite sure what, and it kind of slowly creeps up, you know. Um, it, there's a, there's a, you kind of learn that there's a weird cult in town, um, and you're not sure, you know, what's going on there. Um, oh, so that's it's, cool. uh, it's, it's, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a really cool game. It kind of gets back to more of the, the actual scary stuff, like what was established with, you know, Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil 4, uh -huh. uh, and obviously our own games, you know, Dimension. Oh, okay, wonderful. As the Men's T Show is a YouTube channel that focuses mainly on Nintendo and caters to Nintendo fans, I'm sure my viewers would like to know what is your relationship with Nintendo? How is it to work with them? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love working with Nintendo. They're amazing. I mean, I get asked that a lot, and I always say that, and no one believes me. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I love working with Nintendo. I really do. Um, you know, especially since we've been starting to do our own self-published stuff, that has really um, allowed us to get more and more in contact 
with um, you know the, the people that work at Nintendo. And what's nice is everyone I work with there, like Dan Edelman, Scott um, Cardenas, you know Damon Baker, all of them are great people. They love their job. They love working at Nintendo, and it just makes it a pleasure you know to work with them. So you know ever since we released um, you know uh, new mods, especially on the eShop, we got to you know got to know them better. Um, and they're just really supportive of, of, of our games and just games in general and indie developers. Um, you know, they want uh, indie developers to work with them. They, they're knocking down a lot of the barriers of entry, such as, you know, uh, the requirement to have an office space, you know, mm. stuff like that. They're really trying to take those barriers down to get uh, more people in. So they really are doing a lot of things oh, um, that's, that's cool. um, to get you know, indie developers with them. Um, so I, I love it. I love working with them. They're great. Well, thanks for that. I have just one more question for you, fools. What types of games do you like to play? And uh, what types of games would you say Renegade Kid likes to make? You know, I, I love all types of, uh, of different games. Um, I mean, you can see from what we've done, you know, we've got, you know, Mutant Mods, we've got Dementium, we've got ATV Wild Ride, we've got Bomb Monkey, all completely different genres. You know, we've got puzzle game, we've got racing game, platform game, uh, FPS, uh, all kinds of different stuff. So, you know, we just love to play different types of games. So we also like to make different types of games. And I think it comes from the core of we like challenge. You know, we like challenge in video games, we play games. We like to challenge ourselves and do something that's, that's difficult and to try and do it well. Uh, I mean, Dimension was our first FPS game that we'd ever made. Um, and, and that was exciting to us to try and do that. Same with, with uh, Mute Muds. I mean, that, that's the first, you know, platform game that we've made. Um, so, um, you know, so we, it's exciting. It keeps it exciting for us. Uh, and, uh, and I think uh, hopefully our, our fans, you know, are excited by that as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for that. Well, fools, sadly, we've come to the end of my exclusive PAX East 2014 coverage. I really had a wonderful time at the expo. It was fun chatting it up with fellow nerds and gamers who enjoy their gaming hobby just as much as Mr. T. It was also wonderful to do exclusive interviews with Nick Watt of No and Jules Welsham of Renegade Kid. I really can't thank you fools enough for sitting down and talking to this little plastic man. I am forever in your debt and you can believe since Mr. T is a huge fan of your studio and your games, I will continue to plug your games and play your games too, fools. And I look forward to what I believe will be an illustrious future for both of your studios. We're going to be getting back to the regularly scheduled programming for the Mr. T Show. I got some pretty awesome videos in the works, so stay tuned for that. Mr. T, we'll talk to you fools later. Thanks for watching. thing. Play Nintendo Fools.